Hey guys, Trev Christian here today with, and we're back with Stranger Things episode 3. So yeah, the last episode we had the death of two characters, well, one confirmed character and then the mum that we don't know what happened to her yet. I was very surprised that they killed off a friend. I'm going to see, I'm curious how they're going to react to that and who they're going to miss in as well. And then I like how the cops are going to learn more over time and I love how like the government are really fucking, I, I would assume the government, the, well, the local, the sign, the people who are looking for the monster are just doing whatever they can to find it and just murdering people left and right and then made the guy look like he's going to commit suicide so hopefully the cop clicks on pretty well and then we've also got to keys to scale we got to learn a bit more about her i can't wait to learn more what happened to her and what why that why that was happening and then learn more about the monsters one thing and i'll just get to see a bit more of the kids just hang out and stuff and get to know them but overall solid start to the show and i'm enjoying it but it's got a lot of questions and i like that and it's set up a lot of plot points already early on so i just like to see them unfold and i'm sure they're just going to keep adding on as it goes as well but any way to find out is to keep watching, so feel free to subscribe and like the video guys, as I am doing other live action shows along with this, Umbrella Academy, Cobra Kai, and my seasonal anime, so if you want to check those out, go ahead as well. Let's get into this. Okay, she's not dead. Interesting. Oh, so we get to see, oh, we're going to get to see what happens through our eyes. That was so dark. It's like she's trapped in a mind or something. Oh, it's like the pool. Yeah, it's like she's in another time timescape. Because that's the pool she just climbed out of. She's going to get dragged back in, isn't she? Okay, I wonder why that happens. So that's why Will's probably still alive, then. He's probably hiding somewhere. It's like a Freddy Krueger sort of thing, where it pulls him into a, like a dream or a world. Or a different like, time period or something. That's pretty cool. Because they do just disappear, so I was wondering why that kind like the, the characters just appear, you know, there's no blood or no trace of them, so that's pretty interesting. Let's see where they go with that. It could lead to some cool, cool scenes, though, with that Mindscape thing. I'm just going to call it Mindscape for now, but wherever they go. Because they're going to pull out. I wonder if there's a way out of it. I scared you? I know, I should have called. God, I couldn't imagine being a parent. It'd be so stressful. <laughs> what that shit. Shoot him in the eye and blind him. That's what a savage! <laughs> the warrior of the lands. He just bought food, didn't he? Yeah. So we got Buddy Barge, Bazooka, Pez. Dustin is planning for the future, mate. He's ready. Seriously, we need energy for our travel. For stamina. <laughs> travels. <laughs> I'm going to Mordor, mate. This kid is a legend. I used to have one of them as a kid. <laughs> Concentrate, okay? Oh, one more time. <laughs> a ledge. Okay. Use your powers, okay? Oh, the charisma of the chat. Speak to your boss and see what you can swing for. I'd really appreciate it. I'm talking ten minutes tops. Smooth. Fuck it out, she ate all the snacks. Okay, bad man. This thing's gonna be sad. Someone's gonna explore. I, I like how the show definitely knows how to like switch between characters. Like, it gives you enough of each character, I think, and focus on one too much. We just need a dusted episode and then I'm happy. Was occupying a large part of Lebanon. Today Syria has become a home for seven. Eman, your boy, the power. Right, yes, flashback time. That's a cool transition. I love how this coat there, that fucking product placement, mate. It's like literally a coke advert, is that it? <laughs> Something like that? Who's in charge here? Oh yeah, this would have been set during like the Cold the War. Space lasers? space lasers? Ignore him. I think anyway, it would have been in the 1980s. When did the Cold War end? Because it lasted a long ass time. Right. About 50 years or something like that. Rain that night. See any rain on that tape? 
What are you thinking? The sheriff's actually pretty intelligent. I give him that. <laughs> I like him. They're lying. I like him a lot. I think he's pretty good. I do like transitions on this show. They're very good. Just keep shooting burst. What are they fucking about with? <laughs> this kid jokes. <laughs> Such a bully. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Dustin's gonna knock you out. He's in danger. I hate to break it to you, Toothless, but he's not in danger. He's dead. That's what my dad says. Say was probably killed by some other queer. <laughs> Come on, just ignore them. Wait for just Toothless to go full rage oh. mode, mate. Watch where you're going, frog face. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. You know the girl's gonna like get the beat the shit out of them, Telekinesis. How about this one? That's the only thing I don't like about his character that was about it. he didn't need to take those photos, so it would be creepy. I know they're gonna serve a purpose, but Hey. Uh This guy. I like him, but those pictures gonna screw him over. Could have at least called, said, Marissa, hey, it's not gonna work out. Sorry I wasted your time. I'm a dick. <laughs> Savaged. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh forgot I'm wanting this is massive. No why he's thinking like he's looking to this lab already, I can respect him for that. The monster shows up whenever it wants, doesn't it? Best go help her quickly. That's gonna scar a child for life. Sorry, she's quite the explorer these days. Love to take a look, you know, as connoisseurs of art. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. No? Oh, no. Hey, please. Uh, I knew those pictures were going to fuck him over. Yeah, he's like totally trembling. He must really have something to hide. Okay, what are you doing? You know, this is called stalking. Ah, uh, that does not look good on him. What's going on? Here's this dying lady. What? This creep was spying on us last night. He's probably going to save this one for later. Ah, oh, feel so bad for him, but he, See, it was creepy. Knows it was wrong, but... <sighs> it's so sad to watch. Ah, uh, uh, mate. Dick move. Uh, I, I want to feel bad for him, but taking those photos was stupid of him. He's so going to get blamed for this, isn't he? You know when you like that thing where you like you feel bad for him and you know he didn't mean any harm but he shouldn't have took those photos because it was creepy but <sighs> it's a hard one that one. Like Steve was a dick for breaking his camera but if I found out someone took photos of me and my girlfriend I'd be pretty pissed as well so it's a hard one that one. Oh, she's got to kill the cat. Oh, that's cruel to get to kill the cat. No, you're not the cat! Go oh, kill it. No. 
No, not the cat! <laughs> I don't like seeing animals die. Oh. And then they go stick her in the room for punishment. Oh, and that's what that's the scene. Okay. I like how they're linking scenes together, like they link that scene to the one that we saw, the first scene we saw. Oh no! Oh shit, no, this is different. That's when she escapes. Oh shit! Wrecked! That was awesome. That was so satisfying. Oh, we got what we wanted, didn't we? Oh, that was so satisfying. I don't know if that makes her look like a Sith when she does that. In her eyes. I don't know if she was that terrified that going into the cupboard she killed him. Must have spent a lot of time in there. It's been a jam packed episode so far, we've still got a while left. The big words, we're getting a big conversation here. Relationships are brewing. Jokes. I need like 12. I love how they made Nancy more storyline, more interesting with the barb stuff going missing. There is demons everywhere. He gets around, I give him that. Okay, is he like hiding in like the f that mindscape thing in the cupboard? Once for yes, twice for no. Can you do that for me, sweetie? Can you do that? Oh, she's doing like a the Ouija board thing. It's a pretty good idea, to be fair. She's thinking. I'll give her that. Because we know she's not crazy, so I think she's doing it all makes sense. Man, everyone's going to think he's a shit set job, because like, he's doing such a good job with what he's got, but you know what people are like, all oh, these kids are going missing, you haven't done it yet. Run, 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 run. I'm gonna find that body. She actually died in the mind skin, didn't she? Because she died, whereas Will's hiding in the mindscape area. So actually, well, I was gonna say it's not Nancy's friend because his outfit's different. Mike, Mike, what? You're supposed to help us find him alive. Oh, don't blame her, mate. Why did you lie to us? It was. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Me? Why are you blaming her? What? Mate, oh, this is gonna end in a minute as well. I want to jump into the next one already. Oh, we didn't find out that I keep watching the show, but yeah, I already wanted to jump into the next one. That was a good ending to the episode. Uh, another great, another well-paced and great episode. Another well-paced and good episode. Um, just really nicely paced and just a lot happens. It's just really a jam-packed full episode. Like, they make every minute count. Yeah, I've got a bit more Nancy. She's shown a bit more towards the plot this episode, which I enjoyed. Um, I love the cop guy. He's just piecing everything together so well. Um, he's doing a good job on that end from what, what information he's got. You've got the whole conspiracy with the, the science, the Hawkins Laboratory, which is all interesting. And then we got the bit with um, Eleven L when she was killing those two guards, which was so satisfying. But story wise, very solid. We gained a lot of info. Um, I liked what the mum was doing with the lights and then riding on the wall. I thought it was pretty clever over. 
And yeah, the situation seems a bit shitty. I'm, well, I'm, I'm guessing that was Will's body, just because the outfit was different. But yeah, that was a bit weird because he seemed to be alive. Was he, was he caught then and killed? I need to be a bit more because it sort of ends this like Mindscape world, which um, Nancy's friend shown when she was in there. And I'm guessing he was hiding and he's been caught, maybe. I'm not sure. We're going to find out more in the later episodes. But definitely an enjoyable one. And I can't wait to watch more of the series. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, join me next week. And peace.